What's up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys two things. Uh, first of all, this is uh, a two-part video. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing the December 2020 airport update, and I'm also going to show you guys uh, my progress uh, on my airport for the month of December. So basically, my airport board still isn't finished, um, but it is coming together quite nicely, so I will give you guys a tour after the airport update. But first, to the airport update. Starting off this update, we have this United 77-10 Dreamliner in the new livery. He's getting passengers loaded up for his flight out to Amsterdam after coming in from Frankfurt. Next to the United 787-10 Dreamliner in the new livery, we have this United Starline 737-800. He's getting loaded up for a flight out to West Palm Beach after coming in from Houston Intercontinental. Pulling into International Stand S2 or Sierra 2, we have this United 777-300 in the new livery. He is pulling in from his flight uh, from San Juan, and soon he'll be loading up for his flight out to Frankfurt. Next to the International Stand S2 or Sierra 2 that the United 777-300 in the new livery is pulling into, we have this Spirit A321 in the Bananas livery. He is loading up for his flight out to Houston after coming in from Atlanta. Next to the Spirit A321 in the Bananas livery, we have the United A319 in the new livery. He is loading up first flight out to Austin after coming in from Charlotte Douglas. Okay, so I know that this isn't really accurate as in real life SAS do fly uh, an A350-900 in the new livery on this route, but I only have the SAS-8030 in the old livery, so this will have to suffice for now. Uh, but anywho, this is an SAS-8030 in the old livery. He is getting passengers loaded up for his return out to Copenhagen after coming in from, well, Copenhagen. And the last aircraft at the stands on this side of the airport is this United Sim 57200 in the Her Art Cure New York, New Jersey livery. Uh, he's just getting passengers loaded up for his flight out to Chicago O'Hare after coming in from Denver. Moving on to the stands on the other side of the airport, we have two United Continental livery aircraft, starting off with the regional one at airport stand S15 or CR15. We have this United Express Embraer ERJ-175 in the Continental livery. He is preparing for his flight out to Charlotte after coming in from Mali Durham. And next to him, there is a United 787-10 Dreamliner in the Continental livery. He is loading up for his flight out to London Heathrow after coming in from Amsterdam. And here you have two aircraft, but starting with the one on the left of your screen, you have the Spirit A321 in the Bananas livery. He is loading up for a flight out to Tampa after coming in from Myrtle Beach. And pushing out of airport stand S17 or Sierra 17, we have this United 737-800 in the Blue Evolution livery slash new livery. He's pushing back for his flight out to Tampa after coming in from Fort Lauderdale. And here on the taxiways next to the cargo terminal, uh, this would be a cargo terminal, hint, hint, uh, you have two aircraft. The aircraft on the bottom of your screen is uh, Alaska 737-800 in the Honoring Those Who Serve livery. He's being pulled out of maintenance, and he'll be going to uh, gate Sierra 17. As you can see where the United is pulling out of, he'll be going to gate Sierra 17 for his flight out to uh, LAX. And then on the top of your screen, you have a former Ethiopian 767-300ER uh, in the retro livery. Uh, the delivery was just recently taken off him in um, Addis Ababa. He was flown via Lome here to Newark, uh, and he'll be heading to the hangars, just like the Alaska, except not maintenance. He'll be heading to just a normal hangar uh, for, to be converted into a cargo configuration and for his uh, new cargo jet livery to be put on him as he was just purchased by cargo jet. Airport update part of the video done. I just want to give you guys a quick tour of my airport for December 2020. This is really all the work I'm going to be doing uh, in December. Basically, uh, I already finished these gates as you guys saw in the November airport update. And so what I decided to do was I decided to do uh, really the same thing as here. And I just um, added, you know, this sort of thing. Uh, where it's, um, what, what you call it, wide body, narrow body, wide body, except it's a uh, wide body regional. And then here I am going to put a taxiway uh, once all these regional uh, and slash mainline gates are done. So basically I'm going to try to create a um, cobble together um, this mix, should I say, this mix of uh, gates. Basically on the top you, you're going to have um, 
there's regional gates and then it's gonna be mainline regional mainline regional mainline regional and this is how it's gonna be over here too and then i'm gonna put a taxiway like right here one going here connecting to the main taxiway and then another one a semi taxiway for the mainline gates uh and then the cargo terminal i'm probably not gonna work on until maybe like february of next year uh mostly because uh the cargo terminal is over here which is uh which is what you guys heard uh, when I was talking about the Alaska, but, um, basically, that really, I'm not gonna really work on until I have more cargo planes, because, um, I, the decaling, um, as you guys saw, basically, uh, the decaling, I'll make a video on that when I finish decaling the model, but I did get the decals, I horrendously messed up my first decaling, uh, of the Ethiopian, so I ordered two more cargo jet decals, so, I'm gonna, which is why I said it's becoming a cargo jet, so this is all I'm going to make into a cargo jet and this is really going to be my only cargo aircraft for now which is why I'm you know just taking my time this is not my camera is a problem okay um which is really why I'm not going to be working on the cargo terminal because I really don't have a lot of cargo aircraft as you guys can see almost every single one of my aircraft is passenger aircraft and that's something that I need to work on but uh yeah so that was the little airport update, and let's get to the conclusion of the video. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos. Uh, and comment down below what you think of my model airport and what do you think I should improve my updates. Uh, and if you want, sub to the channel, it's free. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.